part two of building the studio uh, following studio hacks. Woo. So uh, today I'm going to bring to you how to build a flat file. Now I've been researching and looking for quite a few months for an affordable flat file and I have yet to find one. So uh, after conducting some alternative research I found a way to do it really really cheap. Literally this flat file that I'm about to show you has only cost me £66, oh, plus a drill, because I didn't have one in <laughs> So in this week's instalment, I'm going to show you how to make that, um, and hopefully you guys will find it useful, uh, especially when it comes to uh, storing all your art materials. Um, I am surrounded by stuff at the moment. Um, there's just stuff everywhere. There's stuff here, there's stuff there, there's stuff in that big box over there, more stuff all piled up. The catchery can stay where it is. Um, but it's, yeah, it's getting out of hand. So this is my solution today. Uh, home, hopefully, or you all will uh, be able to make something good of it. So first, uh, I bought six uh, Linman tabletops, okay, it's kind of the same tabletop that I used last time, uh, except you only buy the tops, you don't buy the legs. Uh, so you also buy six sets of Capita little stubby legs, they're really really cute and stubby and tiny, uh, and they come in packs of four and so we're just gonna stitch it all together and yeah, flat fire, right let's go. Okay, so you'll find on the Linman tabletops there are holes already pre-drilled. However, we're gonna have to make some more holes because these don't quite cut it. They're somewhere and yeah. So we're gonna mark them out first off. Dun, 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 dun. With a nice sharp pencil. You have all your holes and all the screws are in, pop on the legs. Ah. Okay, so now that is officially built. Oh! That was definitely worth it. Well, before we go, I'm just going to add one more little snippet. Underneath this log, I have pre-drilled a hole. I might end up ruining my table doing this, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. I'm not using any IKEA hacks whatsoever, I'm just going on a whim. I bought the capital bracket. They come in a set two, and what's most noticeable about them is the fact that they're on a 45 degree angle, or 30 degree, or I can't do that. So, on to toast, will it go? <gasps> Eureka! <laughs> Excellent. As you can see that I've got the bracket right up there. Now I've got to screw it on. And there it is. I simply twisted the log on and yeah, it's good and it's stable and it's just perfect for this table. So, you know, if you want to add like a swivel thing so I can have my laptop maybe here or there or I can get it like really, really close up with my borders and I can just sit here, flip up, and get to sketching. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Um, I really, really enjoyed making it. Uh, hope to see you guys ne next time soon. Bye!